Hey, this is Peyton again. Day 30 of my Project 30. It's over. <laughs> Finally made it. It's been a long 30 days. Good 30 days, but a long 30 days. And to be honest, I'm a little excited to be able to eat junk food again. Now, I know what you're all thinking. You're all probably like, what was the point of this whole thing? It was just going to be eating junk food and not working out. That's just it. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be working out pretty much every day and still eating healthy. In fact, there's a lot of things from this Project 30 that I still intend to do now that it's over. Which is exactly why I've made this list for anyone who is doing their own Project 30 or uh, just thinking about doing one eventually. This is things you should do after your 30 days are up. One, don't decide just because you can eat junk food that you should for every chance that you can. In fact, for me, I won't be changing my diet very much, if at all. I plan on eating salads and fruit, like, every day. Weird. Didn't think I'd ever be saying that. <laughs> Two, don't think just because you're done work with this 30 days that you can f stop working out. You should not stop that. In fact, you should work out every day. If not, what they recommend is about five days a week, you know, about 30 minutes. That's good for you. Three, now that you're finished... If you're anything like me, you should set yourself a new goal, either it be losing a bit more weight, fitting into something you couldn't fit into before, or hell, even just running faster is a good goal. But just because you're done with this doesn't mean you should just let yourself get distracted by life and not work out and stay healthy. That was kind of the whole point of this thing. I mean, losing the weight was just a nice second. Oh, and speaking of that, I bet you're all probably wondering how much weight I've lost these 30 days. Well, if any of you remember, I was actually 210 pounds when I started this out. And now, 30 days later, I have lost a whopping 15 pounds, making my new weight 195. And damn, does it feel good to be under 200 again. Now that I've... I, know, I mean, I know it's a few pounds short of my 20-pound goal, stupid snow days. But hey, it gives me some shoe for this next week. And thank you, everyone, for watching. It's been a lot of fun, and, uh... Hope you guys, uh, if you are doing your own 30, I hope you have good luck with it, and uh, maybe I'll do this again someday. Well, may even make some more YouTube videos. But I mean, uh, it's time for me to go work out and, you know, get that six-pack I've always wanted. Peace.